Hello everyone. So, picking up from our last video on the Infinite Talk tutorial, today we're diving into the video to video method. This feature's in super high demand, I know. It's all about taking a video, animating the character to speak, and syncing their lips with your audio input. I've got some cool examples to show you from my testing with this video to video stuff, and I'll walk you through how to use it. Let's check it out. For me, it's the same, so I, I do everything I can, and I also have another problem, which is every time they ask me if I can do something, I always say yes. First, to answer some questions from previous tutorial about TikTok Dance V2V to lip sync with this framework. And yes, it's doable. This video has copyrighted music, so I can't play the sound in this YouTube long form video. But as you can see, the original was a dance video that I used the video to video method with Juan Vase 2.1 to animate the character with motions plus lip movement right here. Then using Infinite Talk video to video to animate the character's lip movements. You can see those fast motions, and even when the head turns different direction like this, it still tracks the face and animates the character lips moving even when she's not facing the camera 12 o'clock. Now, let's look at some more real footage and how I animated it using Infinite Talk. Listen up, Wall Street wannabes. AI's coming for your fancy suits and your finance gigs. Wake up. In 2025, AI's running the show in banking customer service, trading, even crunching numbers faster than your overpriced calculator. So, this footage I animated has the character talking, kind of like a TV commercial ad or online video ad. You know, the kind with scripted talking and the character walking around. We tested these scenarios because practically they can be used for content scripts you input for text-to-speech. Corporate drones are still slaving over emails, but me? I'm sipping sparkling water, watching waves, and laughing at AI's occasional oops like selling yoga pants to a hardware store. Whatever, it's paying my bills while I live this mom life. This example is the most practical one, I think, for e-commerce business owners. Imagine how you can use this AI talking framework for your existing video footages. Even if the model holding the product isn't moving their lips, you can still animate the character to talk with your own script. Hey, Beach Babes. Check out this Glow Easy Serum I'm holding. Yep, it made my skin's new BFF. This little bottle's packed with smart science that knows my face better than my mirror. Hydration? Wrinkles? It's got me covered while I'm chilling with my kiddo. Forget fussy routines. Glow easy so simple. Even my toddler could use it. Grab yours and glow. No stress. Although the product bottle gets a bit deformed in the middle of the video, but what we're focusing on here is the character. And the result is that it does the lip sync really well. Super smooth frame by frame. The original video? It just a boring footage with the character smiling the whole time, barely have any facial expression. In the middle here, opening and closing the bottle, the character's blurry since the camera's focused on the product for these types of commercial video footage. The character's got no facial expression at all, but after using infinite talk, every second, every frame is animated really well, with smooth facial expressions and lip movements that sync perfectly with the audio. So, another tool for you guys to check out. Texas just wrangled AI with a new law transparency, bias fixes, and audits. Yeehaw. They're out here trying to tame algorithms like they're wild stallions. Good luck auditing a bot that thinks y'alls is a personality trait. Bias mitigation? Sure, but AI's still gonna recommend BBQ over tacos. Hey, OpenAI's new GPT is warmer and friendlier? Aw, did it get a hug from Elmo? Last model was colder than my ex's heart, spitting out facts like a robot tax auditor. Now it's all smiles? Bet it's just emoji spam and fake laughs. Haha, <laughs> you're great. Yeah, right, until it hallucinates my life story. Open AI, stick to code, not cuddles. The first part of the video works really well with the video-to-video -video method. So, as you can see, all these motions and talking look really natural. But there are some glitches when I generated this whole video. Toward the end, there's this weird effect with bananas, and some colors start fading out a bit on the edge of the character. In this example, it was good when the guy's walking into the room, but suddenly two other people show up, which isn't consistent with the style. So it's not a perfect framework yet, but it's got a ton of improvements for animating the character. The lips move through all these motions, and the facial expressions, like the wrinkles, are generated too. The eyes blinking, also generated. The best part? When this guy turns his head to the side, 
you can still see the face and lips moving, like he's actually talking. In the original footage, especially this one, it's totally different, way more calm. The guy's talking is super chill, no wrinkles on his face when he speaks, and his mouth barely moves. But in the generated video, you see a huge difference with the mouth. It syncs up with the audio I input. Let's check out how to run this. I did this after recording the image to video workflow. Instead of loading an image, I switched it to load a video. All the custom nodes here handle video. I've got the video loaded in the comfy UI input folder, or you can use a file path to load the files. Moving on, this video to video workflow uses the image to video model as the base to operate. So in the model loader, you can see it's using WAN 2.1 I to V, which is the image to video model from the last video release. Some folks say this doesn't follow their initial frame's reference image, but turns out they were using the text to video model type. You gotta be aware that this uses the image to video model type even for the video to video workflow. Other stuff hasn't changed. We're still using the same LoRa for Light X 2V for CFG distillations, and here we're using the Infinite Talk single as the Infinite Talk model loader. The text encode VAE and Wave 2 VEC stay the same as the default settings. For multi talk and infinite talk, especially for the Wave 2 VEC Tencent game mat version, some people think it's called the Chinese Wave 2 VEC base and assume it only supports Chinese, but that's not true. Multitalk and Infinite Talk use this model for audio analysis and stuff, so it works fine with the Tencent Game Wave 2 VEC. If you pick the Facebook one, you'll get errors. Next up is getting started with your initial frames. Since this is an image to video model at its core, we need to load the initial image frames for video generation. We grab the first image from your reference video as the first image here, and as you can see, we've got another WAN video in code node and inputting it into this node, it converts it into sample latent data and passes it to the WAN video sampler here. That's how it does the video to video generation. One thing to mention for lip syncing animations, if you want to emphasize mouth movement and body language more aggressively, you can set the audio scale higher. For example, I set it to 1.6 here. If I go to 2.0, it'll be super dramatic. If you set it to 1.0, you'll get less motion in the output video. For the content input, I'm doing three types. One is using local language models with Olama to generate content. I've got three switches here where you can enable the Olama LLM generation groups, or you can use your own text input. Like if you've already written a script, you can copy and paste it here and let the AI do the text to speech. We're using Chatterbox as the TTS. And we've got a switch here. If you don't need either the generated content or text input or even text to speech, you can turn those off and just use audio files. This group loads files from your input audio files, like an MP3 or WAV with the speech for your video. You'd locate that file path here and it'll separate the vocals for the talking avatar. These switches act as the control. For your input source of reference audio, we'll also get the number of audios and the FPS to figure out how many frames we need to work with. Once we've got those settings, the WAN 2.1 sampling here is the same as the last video's image to video setup, except we need the sample latent from the loaded video frames. Let's do an example. Say I've got this portrait video, like a podcast style, and I'm going to use another script for text to speech. So I'll choose the text input. Since I've got the script ready, disable the audio files and, and enable text to speech with Chatterbox. This way, the pipeline goes from text input to generating audio in Chatterbox, then passes the audio to this handler to distribute it to the WAN video sampling groups below. Let's say I've got another script for roasting some AI stuff, like from the perspective of a college grad talking about AI and their struggle to find a job. We'll match that with this video. We'll also change the audio reference voice since Chatterbox needs a reference voice for voice cloning. After picking your voice and setting the width and height, remember this is a portrait video, so I'm going with 720p, 720 by 1028 height. The WAN video sampling and generation settings are fine by default. I don't mess with those much. They're good enough for general video generation. 
I'm using eight steps here for a clearer picture instead of four with the starting step at four. That means it's got 50% noise for generating the video. Let's get started with this one. Here's our generated result. It's kind of short since the video is about 237 frames. By the way, I set the total length based on the video length. In this workflow, you can set the length using the audio length, connecting it to the other groups to bring in, say, 650 frames for the video generation length. But there's a drawback. If your audio is longer than the video, the video loops back after those 237 frames, starting from the beginning, and keeping the talking going until the audio is done, which doesn't look natural in some cases. So what I do is use the total length of the video frames and cut off the audio when the video ends. That way, the character's lip syncing and expressions look more natural. This one uses the FPS of the source video, and I doubled the FPS two times with frame interpolation to make it smoother overall. When you sync the audio in frames like this, you can see it moves smoother with higher FPS, making everything look better. The other groups here. Lastly, I disabled the Seed RV2 by default. This is the upscaler from ByteDance, a new video upscaler that's pretty nice, but needs a ton of VRAM and processing memory during runtime. So if you've got low VRAM, I wouldn't recommend enabling this group. Just bypass it. That's the default in this workflow. This generation's at 720p, and the motion looks pretty nice. After doubling the FPS, let's check out the audio too. Yo, I'm a 2025 grad, and AI's out here snatching my diploma's dreams. Unemployment's at 5.8% for us newbies. Thanks, AI. Yeah, so you can see, it performs really smoothly with this lip-syncing framework. Using the video-to-video -video method, like I showed at the start, those examples use the same workflow, the same method I tried, and it works as is for the sampling. One more thing. The default sampling steps in the example workflow use four steps, which is okay but not the smoothest, for facial expressions and the character. When I bumped it up to eight steps, with the start step at four, it's way better. You get almost double the sampling steps compared to the example workflow, and it doesn't take much extra time. So it's fine to use higher steps like this for better video quality. That's it for this video. Overall, I'd say this infinite talk video to video method is really nice and super practical for situations where you want your character to talk with your voiceover script or do a narrative voiceover for a commercial or video ad. Let me know what kind of content you think you could create with this video to video infinite talk framework, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. See ya.